In the distant 22nd century, Earth has devolved into a barren wasteland overrun with trash, a result of humanity's rampant consumerism and disregard for the environment. As a last resort, the remaining survivors escape the dying planet in a state-of-the-art starliner named Axiom, leaving behind a fleet of trash-compacting robots tasked with cleaning up the Earth. Regrettably, the cleanup operation fails miserably, and after seven centuries, only a single robot named Wall-E remains operational. While working, Wall-E listens to music and keeps a friendly cockroach as his sole companion. Whenever he discovers an intriguing item amid the trash, he brings it back to his makeshift home inside an abandoned garbage lifter. His collection includes an old movie that sparks in him a longing for companionship, specifically someone to hold hands with. When a sandstorm or night falls, Wally transforms himself into a compact cube and sleeps on his own shelves. To recharge his battery, he relies on solar energy from the sun. One eventful day, after encountering some difficulties with a fire extinguisher, Wally uses his laser to slice open a refrigerator and is astonished to discover a small living plant inside. He places the plant in an old boot and brings it back to his home, where his attention is captured by a mysterious red dot that suddenly appears on the ground. As Wally follows the moving red light, it multiplies, and he soon realizes that the lights are emanating from an incoming rocket. He rushes to conceal himself in a nearby hole and watches the rocket land before releasing a sleek, modern robot named Eve. Eve immediately begins to fly around, searching for the object of her mission. Wall E is instantly smitten by Eve and follows her everywhere, although he remains frightened whenever she fires her weapon at something due to a perceived noise. The cockroach, however, is unfazed and approaches Eve, who initially shoots at it before realizing its innocence and befriending it. The roach's antics on Eve's body amuse her, causing both her and Wally to laugh. When Eve hears Wally's laughter, she fires at him, but he manages to evade the shot by transforming into a cue. Upon scanning Wally and determining he is merely a cleaning robot, Eve disregards him and continues her search. Undeterred, Wally follows her persistently, attempting to impress her with gifts and tricks but to no avail. Eve's focus remains on her search, but she grows increasingly frustrated with her inability to find what she's looking for. When a magnetic crane accidentally captures her, Eve's frustration boils over, and she sets the entire machine ablaze. Wally, sensing her distress, approaches and comforts her, finally gaining her friendship. Just then, a sandstorm approaches, causing Eve to panic. Wally quickly brings her to his home, where he shows her his collection of fascinating items. To his surprise, Eve knows how to operate some of the objects, such as igniting a flame with a lighter. Wally shows Eve his cherished movie, and she records it before attempting to mimic his dance steps. However, she accidentally pushes Wally against a wall, breaking him, but he reassures her that he can fix himself with spare parts. Although Wally wishes to hold hands with Eve, she doesn't reciprocate. Instead, he tries to impress her by showing her the plant which immediately prompts her to secure the plant within her body before entering a protective capsule mode. The discovery of plant life was, in fact, her primary objective. Desperate, Wally tries various methods to revive Eve, from exposing her to sunlight for recharging to taking her on dates, but nothing works. Eventually, Wally resumes his cleanup duties, pausing only to gaze at the lighter as a reminder of his time with Eve. Suddenly, a rumbling noise captures Wally's attention. The rocket has returned and it's taking Eve away. Determined not to lose her, Wally races towards the rocket and clings to its railing as it takes off. In awe of the wonders of outer space, Wally marvels at the sights while taking advantage of the abundant sunlight to fully recharge. Ultimately, they arrive at the Axiom, which has been hiding in a remote galaxy. A team of cleaning robots greets the rocket, ensuring that everything is free from contamination. A small robot named M.O. tries to clean Wally, but when other robots escort Eve away, Wally follows them, leaving a trail of mud behind. M.O. dutifully pursues Wally in an attempt to clean up the mess. As they traverse a corridor, Wally discovers the sad truth about the current state of humanity. The once active population has grown fat, lazy, and utterly dependent on floating chairs and screen technology. Robots now manage every aspect of life aboard the Axiom, from childcare to meal preparation. Wally catches the attention of a human named John who becomes so engrossed in the robot that he falls off his chair. While the team of robots rushes to help John back onto his chair, Wally seizes the opportunity to follow Eve. To get closer to her, Wally asks a woman named Mary to move aside, inadvertently causing her to disconnect from her screen as well, 
and she begins to rediscover the world around her. Wally masquerades as Eve's handler and accompanies her to meet Otto, the ship's eye autopilot. After a quick scan, Otto awakens Captain McCree to share the news. Captain McCree, also a victim of the sedentary lifestyle on the Axiom, sluggishly goes through his daily routine, checking the ship's systems and making announcements to the passengers. Finally, he wakes Eve up and discovers the positive result of her mission, the plant. This revelation is unprecedented, and when McCree presses the plant button on his console, a video begins to play, potentially heralding a significant change in the fate of humanity and their home planet, who explains that a positive result indicates the presence of plant life on Earth, suggesting that the planet is habitable once again and that it's time to return. Captain McCree consults the manual released by the control panel to understand the next steps. While he's preoccupied, Wally attempts to approach Eve, who is taken aback by his presence and hurriedly hides him from sight. As McCree activates a robotic arm to retrieve the plant from Eve, she is shocked to discover that it has disappeared from her storage compartment. Otto concludes that she must be malfunctioning and McCree, disappointed, cancels the journey back to Earth and orders Eve to undergo repairs. After Wally introduces himself to McCree, he inadvertently leaves dirt on the captain's hand, leading McCree to send him off for cleaning. With the robots gone, the captain analyzes the dirt sample, sparking curiosity about Earth and prompting him to question the eye about the planet. Meanwhile, Eve and Wally arrive at the repair department, where Eve is forcibly placed in capsule mode with specialized equipment. Wally narrowly avoids the same fate, instead receiving a makeover from a malfunctioning beauty assistant. He is then caged while Eve undergoes maintenance, which Wally mistakes for torture. Driven by a desire to rescue Eve, Wally breaks free from his cage with his laser and bursts through the door. A working robot attempts to stop him, but Wally dodges the attack, which instead destroys the control panel and releases the captive robots. Grateful for their liberation, the malfunctioning robots follow Wally and are soon pursued by Eve. When they encounter a group of security robots, an alarm is raised, and their images are broadcast across the ship's screens, alerting the population to the presence of rogue robots. As the guards attempt to apprehend them, Eve grabs Wall-E and flies to safety, hiding in a window until the coast is clear. Subsequently, Eve brings Wall-E to an elevator, where he tries to be friendly. However, Eve's frustration with the situation causes her to shoot a screen to silence him. Upon reaching the hangar, Eve attempts to send Wall-E back to Earth in a pod, but he refuses to go without her. They overhear a noise and spot a small robot controlled by Otto, who has the plant and plans to return it to Earth. Desperate to save the plant, Wally dashes into the pod, which is suddenly activated and launches him into space. Eve quickly follows through an emergency exit. As the pod hurtles through space, Wally frantically presses buttons in an attempt to stop it, but accidentally triggers the self destruct sequence. Just as Eve watches the pod explode, Wally zooms past her, using a fire extinguisher as a makeshift jetpack. They joyfully reunite in space, and Wally reveals that he has saved the plant. Overcome with relief, Eve embraces Wally and shares an electric spark with him, resembling a tender kiss. Delighted, Wally uses the extinguisher to dance with Eve through space as they make their way back to the ship. John and Mary, now enjoying the magnificent view of space, witness their balletic return, which leads to their own real life encounter. Back on the ship, Eve sneaks around to avoid detection, leaving Wally behind. She arrives safely at the captain's quarters and presents him with the plant, reigniting his excitement about returning to Earth. Eve plays her recordings of Earth, which disappoint McCree, as the planet isn't as beautiful as the images he had seen from the past. However, the sound of music from Wally's old movie restores his hope, and he decides to persevere, inspired by the small plant's resilience. The movie also shows the significance of handholding, prompting Eve to reflect on her own relationship with Wally. Meanwhile, Wally searches for Eve by entering a trash chute, with M.O. following close behind. When the captain orders the ship to return to Earth, Otto intervenes and demands the plant. McCree refuses, prompting Otto to reveal an old video from the president of Earth announcing the failure of the cleanup program and the cancellation of the recolonization project. According to Directive 113, the ship must remain on autopilot indefinitely to keep humans in space. McCree realizes that this information is centuries old and the discovery of the plant proves that Earth can support life once more. Otto summons its small robot assistant to prevent their return to Earth. As the robot takes the plant, Eve threatens it, but the robot tosses the plant into the trash pipe. Just then, Wally emerges from the pipe with the plant perched on his head. Eve tries to reunite with Wally, but the small robot captures her. Wally hides the plant within his body, 
but Otto electrocutes him and pushes him back into the pipe. Oda then places Eve in capsule mode and throws her into the pipe as well. Otto then confines McCree to his room to keep him silenced. Shortly after, a small mouse robot inadvertently reactivates Eve, who finds herself in the garbage disposal room. In this area, machines compress waste into cubes before ejecting them into space. Both Eve and Wally end up trapped within these cubes. Eve manages to free herself using her built-in weapon, but struggles to extract Wally. Just as the cubes are about to be ejected, Emmo appears, sticking to the inner door. With the force of the ejection, Eve is able to rescue Wally from the garbage and grabs onto Emmo. The waste disposal robots sense trouble and swiftly close the outer doors, assisting the trio in their return to the ship. Wally's functionality is compromised, so Eve searches for components to repair him. Unfortunately, none of the contemporary parts are compatible with Wally's older model. Wally gives Eve the plant and urges her to prioritize their mission to save Earth. Initially, Eve is reluctant and even tries to hold Wally's hand to persuade him otherwise. However, Wally insists that Earth is more important and presents his lighter as evidence. Realizing that Earth will have the necessary parts to fix Wally, Eve gathers everyone and heads back to the ship's main area. A security guard spots them and raises the alarm but Eve fends it off as the other malfunctioning robots follow her. Otto monitors their progress on the ship's screens and deploys more security guards. Meanwhile, McCree manipulates the control panel to broadcast a transmission. He reveals the plant's location in the instruction manual to Eve, who immediately heads in that direction with Wally. -E. However, they become surrounded by guard robots. The rogue robots come to their rescue and engage in combat with the guards. McCree then taunts Otto by pretending to have the plant, luring the AI into a trap. As Otto enters the room, McCree initiates a struggle and eventually sends the small robot flying through a window. McCree manages to regain control of the ship and activates its traveling mode, prompting the robots to prepare humans for their journey back to Earth. The plant's designated capsule opens at the ship's center, but as Eve and Wally attempt to reach it, Otto regains control and steers the ship, causing the plant to tumble. The ensuing chaos forces Mary and John to work together to save a group of infants. Eve intervenes to prevent further casualties, while Wally strains to keep the plant capsule open, sustaining further damage in the process. McCree musters his strength, stands up, and successfully disables Otto. He then stabilizes the ship, allowing Eve to check on Wally while requesting everyone's help in locating the plant. M.O., the rogue robots, and the humans collaborate to recover the plant and place it in the capsule. This action reactivates the return program, releasing Wally from the pressure. However, he remains unresponsive. The ship performs a hyper jump and arrives on Earth within 10 seconds. Upon landing, Eve rushes Wally to his home for repairs and punctures a hole in the ceiling to allow sunlight for recharging. Although Wally awakens, he fails to recognize Eve or recall his past experiences. Distraught, Eve prepares to say her final goodbye by holding Wally's hand and sharing an electrifying kiss. This tender moment restores Wally's memories and personality. Wally and Eve Share a heartwarming moment together as McCree teaches the humans how to cultivate the plant. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay on top of all the latest recaps and never miss a beat. Thank you for watching.